of palinka, which is the traditional drink. And then I have a pickled watermelon. It's so, so tasty. Ooh, I can't wait to just eat it all now. And here we have sour cream with some... Uh... I never tried it before. And basically... With uh, beans and smoked bacon in uh, bread. Mm. So today we're gonna try the Shura Dacilor restaurant which uh, we saw that uh, is, uh, it has so, so many recipes traditional yes really beautiful so this place is in Poyana Brasov which is also the ski area and uh, we chose uh, as Vlad was saying this location because it's really traditional even inside and outside as well it's a uh, I think with all these lights, it's, it feels like you are wa uh, walking into some sort of magical place. And in here you can see all this corn and uh, then uh, papers and actually they used to keep it at the either at the front entrance at every house in Romania and uh, they believe that by doing that they will uh, all the bad uh, energy or spirits they will go away they will go away <laughs> yeah exactly We just got inside and ordered our food, but we will show you when we get there. But we ordered the drinks and I have palinka, which is the traditional drink. And I thought it's, it's a lot, I'm not gonna drink it all because I'm gonna be messed up after all of this. But I'm gonna try it now. Ooh, it's strong. <laughs> wow, it's so, so strong. 
my throat burns now, but it's nice. You can feel the aroma of uh, palm. Uh, the location is so beautiful and really traditional. On these whole worlds, you have different pieces like plates, corn. The food finally arrived, so we got the bulls, that's the name. Basically, it's polenta filled with uh, cheese. Then you have an egg on the top and also pork meat. And this food, actually, it's specific for the shepherds. They usually are making it uh, when they are with the sheep on the, on the mountain in the summertime. And usually they make it in, the, in a big pot. So we never had that before and I'm just gonna try it now. Oh, look at this one. Mm. So tasty. Cheese, the cheese again, it's uh, salty. And all this mix, it's so, so tasty. Honestly, whew, I can't wait to just eat it all now. <laughs> and Vlad got the same, uh, the same dish and uh, he's gonna taste it and we're gonna let you know our thoughts after we finish this. Incredible. Today we came in uh, Brasov to eat. I will put the name of the restaurant here. And uh, I've got uh, grandmother's pot, I think. And I have uh, pork meat with uh, sausages. Then I have polenta with uh, cheese, uh, one egg. Then I have a pickled watermelon. Yeah, so it looks uh, amazing. Mm. It's so fresh and this uh, cheese is actually really salty, very, very salty. And uh, the combination between the polenta, which is uh, not salty at all with this one is just great and then the sausage, which is uh, my favorite. Mm. And here for my friend, Claudio, uh, he bought uh, tokitura, is a mixed uh, uh, pork. Yeah, we had, it, we had it this one before, but it's different because this is from another region. And here we have uh, egg and polenta under with the cheese. And I got... I got something called, uh, I think, porcini with uh, polenta and uh, sour cream on the top and some cheese. It's another day and uh, we are here to try something different. And we choose this uh, restaurant because it has really good reviews. And uh, we will try to decide uh, what we're gonna eat today and uh, we will come with, uh, with an update. The food came already and it was fast. We ordered and then we received it. And I have the beef goulash because we, I never tried it before. And basically you have uh, beef, potatoes and uh, carrots. And basically yeah, it's like a stew with everything. Let's try this. It's really good. I like it. And on my side I've got uh, soup with uh, beef and on the side I have uh, homemade bread and here comes with the uh, sour cream and also a paper, yeah, I think it's spicy. Well, it looks really good, it has peas, uh, potatoes, uh, too many vegetables. Give it a try. Yeah, it's really good. It's really fresh. And uh, it's not that hot. And also goes with this spicy paper. 
which is really spicy. And for dessert, I got uh, another traditional thing. They are some dumplings with uh, plum. Gonna cut one here. And let's see. And I think on top you have some walnut. The dough is soft, it's not too sweet. Definitely there is walnut on the top. And the uh, filling inside is uh, not too sweet again. A little bit on the sour side, but it's, uh, it's tasty. I can say that it's um, interesting, but not my type or favorite thing. Actually, papanashi is a mix of dough with cheese inside. Yeah, in our side in Moldova, it comes in two pieces. It doesn't come in one big portion, but it's it's okay. And here we have sour cream with some uh, raspberry jam and some sh sherry. Yeah, sherry jam, I would say. It's good but it's too soft. I've been eating before and it was a bit different, it's no huge difference, but overall it's really good. And in Sigishwara we want to try another uh, traditional dish. We found a really good uh, place and now we are heading there. So today we're gonna try a sour bean soup with uh, beans and smoked bacon in uh, bread. Yeah, as you can see, yeah, it's made it in bread. I never eat it before. I always wanted to try it because I saw it in so many places. And it's already smelling like in uh, back in childhood. I used to eat this with bread, but not in bread because how look how thick it is the bread. Yeah, it's thick enough to hold this soup. Yeah, so I'm gonna give it a try now to see. It's hot. It's exactly what I expected. It's really tasty. It has vegetables and this, this smoked bacon you can see. Yeah, but it's so, it's so tasty with all the seasoning in, inside. It just is incredible. I will have this meal and I will come with the dessert after that. And for dessert, we got a traditional pie with uh, sweet cheese and uh, plum. We are so curious to try it because it so uh, specific of Transylvania region uh, and we never had it before. It also has uh, cinnamon on top and mm, it has a really really interesting taste. The combination between cheese and a little bit uh, in the sourness of the plum makes it a great dessert. Yeah. I, I love this one actually.